Ascites. Definition. The medical definition of ascites is an abnormal accumulation of fluid within the peritoneal cavity. Ascites is caused by a variety of diseases and conditions, for example, cirrhosis of the liver, cancer within the abdomen, congestive heart failure, and tuberculosis. Ascites occurs when fluid accumulates in the abdomen. This buildup occurs between two membrane layers that together make up the peritoneum, a smooth sac that contains the body's organs. It is usual to have a small amount of fluid in the peritoneum cavity. Ascites is the buildup of fluid in belly, often due to severe liver disease. The extra fluid makes belly swell. Risk factors. Any disease that causes liver damage or scarring can make person more likely to get ascites. Common risk factors for ascites include Viral infections like Hepatitis B or Hepatitis C Alcohol misuse Cancer in organs in the belly area Kidney failure Congestive heart failure Tuberculosis Causes Causes of high serum ascites albumin gradient, SARG or transudate are Cirrhosis 81% Alcoholic in 65% Viral in 10%, cryptogenic in 6%, heart failure 3%, hepatic venous occlusion, Bugchiaris syndrome or venonocclusive disease, constrictive pericarditis, quashioka, childhood protein energy malnutrition, causes of low SARG, exudate, are cancer, metastasis and primary peritoneal carcinomatosis, 10%, infection, Tuberculosis 2% or spontaneous bacterial peritonitis. Pancreatitis 1%. Serocities. Nephrotic syndrome. Hereditary angioedema. Other rare causes. Magius syndrome. Vasculitis. Hypothyroidism. Renal dialysis. Peritoneum mesothelioma. Abdominal tuberculosis. Mastocytosis. Signs and Symptoms Ascites is usually accompanied by a feeling of fullness, a ballooning belly, and fast weight gain. Other symptoms often include Shortness of breath Nausea Swelling in legs and ankles Indigestion Wanting Heartburn Loss of appetite Fever Hernia Classification Ascites exists in three grades. Grade 1, mild, only visible on ultrasound and CT. Grade 2, detectable with flank bulging and shifting dullness. Grade 3, directly visible, confirmed with the fluid wave thrill test. Pathophysiology. Diagnostic evaluation. History taking, taking a thorough medical, surgical, dietary, Personal Habits and Socioeconomic History Physical Examination Observation When a large amount of acetic fluid is present, the abdomen looks uniformly distended. Palpation Generalized gentle palpation will show evidence of abnormal swelling. Percussion In the supine position there will be dullness around the flanges and resonance around the umbilical region. Shifting Dullness Test Place the patient on their side and after 30 seconds perform percussion. The acetic fluid will shift with gravity towards the side they are lying on. Auscultation, very slow or absent peristaltic sound is heard. Blood tests, these can usually assess liver and kidney function. If cirrhosis is confirmed, further tests will be required to clarify the cause and will include antibody tests for hepatitis B or C. Fluid sample analysis, a sample of abdominal fluid may show cancer cells are present or that there is an infection. Doctors remove fluid from the abdomen with a syringe and send it to a laboratory for analysis. Abdominal ultrasound. This is helpful for identifying underlying causes of ascites. It can show if a person has cancer or if cancer has spread to the liver. Imaging. Healthcare provider may request images of the inside of abdomen using ultrasound, MRI or a CT scan. An MRI creates images using a magnetic field and radio frequency energy. A CT scan creates computerized images using X-rays. 
routine complete blood count, CBC, basic metabolic profile, liver enzymes, and coagulation should be performed. Most experts recommend a diagnostic paracentesis be performed if the ascites is new or if the person with ascites is being admitted to the hospital. The fluid is then reviewed for its gross appearance, protein level, albumin, and cell counts, red and white. Additional tests will be performed if indicated such as microbiological culture, gram stain and cytopathology. Management Treatment in high sag, transudate, R. Diet Salt restriction is the initial treatment, which allows diosis, production of urine, since the person now has more fluid than salt concentration. Water restriction is needed if serum sodium levels drop below 130 mol L1. Diuretics Spironolactone, or other distal tubule diuretics such as triamterene or amyloride, is the drug of choice since they block the aldosterone receptor in the collecting tubule. Diuretics for ascites should be dosed once per day. Generally, the starting dose is oral spironolactone 100 mg day, max 400 mg day. For non-responders, a loop diuretic may also be added and generally, furosemide is added at a dose of 40 mg day, max 160 mg day, or alternatively, bumetanide or tosmide. Monitoring diosis. Diosis can be monitored by weighing the person daily. The goal is weight loss of no more than 1.0 kg day for people with both ascites and peripheral edema and no more than 0.5 kg day for people with ascites alone. If daily weights cannot be obtained, diuretics can also be guided by the urinary sodium concentration. Dosage is increased until a negative sodium balance occurs. A random urine sodium to potassium ratio of 1 is 90% sensitivity in predicting negative balance, 78 mole day sodium excretion. Paracentesis. In those with severe, tense, ascites, therapeutic paracentesis may be needed in addition to medical treatments listed above. As this may deplete serum albumin levels in the blood, albumin is generally administered intravenously in proportion to the amount of ascites removed. Surgery. Ascites that is refractory to medical therapy is considered an indication for liver transplantation. In a minority of people with advanced cirrhosis that have recurrent ascites, shunts may be used. Typical shunts used are porticaval shunt, peritoneovenous shunt, and the transjugular intrahepatic portosystemic shunt, TIPS. Treatment in Losag, Exudate, R. Exudative ascites generally does not respond to manipulation of the salt balance or diuretic therapy. Repeated paracentesis and treatment of the underlying cause is the mainstay of treatment. Complications of ascites Spontaneous bacterial peritonitis, a life-threatening infection of the acetic fluid. Hepatorenal syndrome, kidney failure. Weight loss and protein malnutrition. Mental confusion, change in the level of alertness, or coma, hepatic encephalopathy, bleeding from the upper or lower gastrointestinal tract, buildup of fluid in the space between lungs and chest cavity, pleural effusion, other complications of liver cirrhosis, prevention, certain steps to help you avoid cirrhosis of the liver and cancer can prevent ascites. These include, stop drinking alcohol, maintain a healthy weight, exercise regularly, Stop smoking. Limit salt in diet. Practice safe sex to decrease chance of getting hepatitis. Do not use recreational drugs to decrease chance of getting hepatitis. So guys, thanks for watching my video. You can like and comment on my video, but don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel to watch quality content like this. Thank you guys.